Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, it's been a couple of years since I released the video on Meshtastic. Now, I released the video when it was in its infancy and it was kind of just starting out. And this system has grown exponentially in the last couple of years. And the users and activity is just kind of going off the scale, most likely due to quite a few popular videos that have popped up on YouTube and also just people having general interest in having license-free off-grid communication method. Now, the video that I made a couple of years ago was really showing how you could install the firmware and then install the application and then just communicate between a couple of devices. That's kind of changed slightly, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. There are some other videos on the internet if you want to go and view those, or I might make another detailed video on how to get it set up with certain devices. Now, the reason for this video is that I recently come across a Mestastic map, which obviously it's online and it's based on the internet, so no good in case of an emergency. However, if you want to take a look and see what nodes are in your area, then this is quite a useful place to check first. However, because it's quite new, people are going to need to know about it first before it kind of gets to a point where it's very usable. Now, what we had before this new system that I'm going to show you in a moment came out was this. It's the unofficial Mestastic map where nodes are self-reported now the thing is all of these nodes are self-reported meaning that if they go offline you're not going to know if they're online you're not going to know i mean you can click on them and have a look and it should give you some more information about the node itself but like i said a moment ago it's all self-reported so you have to physically go in and add your node yourself however i recently come across something called meshmap now meshmap.net what this does and it's quite clever They've set it up so it takes position data from the official Mistastic MQTT server. So as long as your node is transmitting its position to the mesh, then it should appear on here if it's in range of a node which has MQTT connection. Now, obviously, if you're just running it at home, then you can enable MQTT and you'll get that position data sent to the server and hopefully then meshmap.net will pick it up. So if we scroll in, we can see all of these drop pins where people's nodes have had their position reported to the MQTT server, the official one that is, and then it's plotted on the map here. Now, like I said, this is quite a new system. So I believe the developer will add things in the future, maybe things like filtering and overlays and all sorts of features and functions. Obviously, once you get that data into a database, then you can manipulate it and filter it however you want to. It's just the case of the developer adding those features in for us to see. Now, at the moment, I believe that these drop pins are updated every five minutes. So there's no real time live tracking for each node. However, that was on the list of features that the developer wanted to add into this system. Now, I know there's a few other kind of Meshtastic maps online. But I think that we really need to stick to one and then really work on that one. And I think having this working through an MQTT server is probably the best way to go. But like I said before, obviously, in a doomsday environment where you have no Internet, then this is going to be pretty useless. You have to rely on the map on your mobile device and just see the nodes that are directly connectable from your location. However, this could also prove quite useful if you're looking at maybe putting a repeater or router in a certain location to say bridge two areas together, because at a quick glance, you can see where there's nodes already configured, already sending their position data. So there we go, guys, that's the meshmap.net. Now I'll leave a link to the subreddit that I found mentioning this, where a guy with the username Unlicensed Ham advertised it. So maybe we can go back to this and see if he has published any enhancements or maybe keep up to date with the developer himself if we give him the support that he needs and feedback then hopefully he will go ahead and make it even better than it is now and anyway, guys if you want to see more meshtastic videos then let us know down in the comments below i do have something quite exciting planned for the near future which if you are into meshtastic and off-grid laura messaging then you might want to stay tuned because it's actually quite exciting. Anyway, till the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.